Hey everyone and welcome to this episode of Underground Video Network's Behind the Counter. In this episode we're going to be giving you the CW and DC uh, wrap up from San Diego Comic Con so stay tuned. Hey everyone and welcome to this episode of Underground Video Network's Behind the Counter. I am Michael Boroff. I'm Rich Carajan. And uh, if you're like most of us, uh, I was at home for San Diego Comic Con. <laughs> I didn't have gas money to go to the airport to fly to I, San Diego Comic Con. I went to a local con down in Ohio or down in Dayton for mm -hmm. the Ohio Toy and Comic Show. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, but if you're like the rest of us, you know we were we had our phones in our hands, you know, eagerly awaiting any bit of snippet information to come down from San Diego Comic Con. And this year, uh, we didn't hear a lot of news from the comic book. Uh, part of DC, no. Part of DC. Uh, a lot of the events that are already in motion yeah, are still going to be yeah, carrying on yeah. to the next year. Uh, stuff like the Leviathan and... Maybe Doom's, <laughs> Doomsday maybe, Clock, I don't yeah. know. <laughs> uh, but a lot of the news that we did hear came from the CW. And this is going to be an amazing year for the CW. Uh, we're going to see a, uh, a new show emerge, and we're going to see an old show go away. And uh, That's just progression. Yeah, right out of the gate, i got to mention. To me, what I feel is the start of it all, Arrow. Uh, Arrow is, is still is one of my favorite shows. It's how it all started. It's, it really is, <laughs> how it's all started. And... Um, it was one of those shows for me. It has a very special place for me. I love that show. Has every season, has every episode been stellar? No, but you know, very few shows do. Uh, it's still a show that I, I religiously watch. And part of the reason why I watch it so much is good storytelling, but I will be honest, part of the reason is, is because of Steve Amell. Oh, okay. That is a great dude. He is a stand-up guy. He does a lot of work for charities. And when you have a show that you like so much and you find out that the people behind the show are as equally fantastic, it just makes you appreciate that show more. And I think I was amongst a lot of people when... This is, this is one of the things that's great about Steve O'Mell was when the announcement that this was going to be the final season for Arrow came out, it came through Steve O'Mell. Oh, yeah. He did one of his, uh, I believe it was Facebook Live posts, yeah. and he he made the official announcement. And I mean, it was almost heartbreaking because you could see this this big, you know, tough guy <laughs> almost in tears. And well, he's uh, losing his job now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one of the great pictures that he shared recently was it was a picture of him in the season one outfit with uh, his baby, oh. and then. You know, eight years later, him in his season eight outfit with his, with his, with his child wearing very baggy, but wearing the season one uniform, and it was just it just shows you know how much uh, importance that show was to him. But like you said, everything you know has stemmed from Arrow, right? And this is going to be the last year. Uh, one thing I'm really hoping to see in this last year is we we know for fact that. The reason why the show, it's or the the character is going away. They've made no secret of it, you know, with the the, the monitor coming down and just saying, "Just you were going to die." Right. You know, we saw the we saw the tombstone. Yeah. Uh, but this entire season is going to be about how we get to that point. And a lot of the things that we saw this last season was the 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 flash forwards with uh, Oliver's son. And Oliver and Felicity's daughter, kind of almost doing a uh, a gender swap role reversal of the family business. You know, uh, we had the daughter who was very a very good skilled fighter, very good archer, and the son who was more of the techie. You know, right. the behind the scenes guy. You know, a lot of people are hoping that yes, the show Arrow is going away. That Steve Amell is going away. Hopefully, maybe the show will continue through them or at least in the background of the other shows yeah uh, and these are good characters I really enjoyed uh, learning about them this last this last season uh, but arrow will will be the jumping off point for the the major crisis right and this this one is crisis crisis yeah you know we've had a few other 
you know, well, crisis how, on infinite, you know, or it's how it's always been. This is, this is the, this is the big crisis. Yeah. Uh, this is where I mean, it's else worlds was the foreshadow of what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. So, and more and more things are coming out about what this crisis was well, crisis on infinite earths. Right. And they're not pulling any punches on infinite earths because more and more is coming out. Right. Uh, personally, one of my favorite announcements this year was it had been talked about in rumors that in some way or another, Brandon Routh was going to be picking up the role of Superman again, uh. you know, from a, you know, from an infinite, you know, one of the infinite Earths. Right. And well, there was that um, foreshadowing that you look just like my cousin. You yeah. Know, that was a little, little tidbit yeah. out there. Everybody just thought that was just a little egg joke, but yeah. who knows? It might be a foreshadow. Yeah. Uh, but the huge announcement uh, came out San Diego was uh, when they announced, when Brendan Routh pretty much announced, he stood up, opened no. up his shirt. <laughs> And underneath it was the Kingdom Come Superman logo. <laughs> Let me explain how excited I am about that. Kingdom Come is one of my all-time, all-time favorite books. I still have my Superman uh, from Kingdom Come t-shirt oh. <laughs> from, from, like, just after the book came out. It is that faded. You know, the hipsters will probably think, oh, look, that's a very cool distressed shirt. Like, well, it is distressed. It's 20 years old. <laughs> You mean you didn't buy it at Hot Topic? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, uh, you know, that he's going to be, and it'll be Kingdom, there, there's so much still rumors going around, it's going to be Kingdom Come Superman, Right. but could it also be that that Kingdom Come came from the Superman Returns universe, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. That that Superman, Brandon Ralph Superman there is what stems. Could be. From the cinematic worlds yeah. of that 70s cinematic mm -hmm. world, 70s, late 80s. Because that was the thing I'm curious about is we know uh, with Brandon Routh wearing the Kingdom Come Superman uh, outfit, but if you know Kingdom Come, this was a Superman very late in the game. Right. You know, he had the gray hair. Yeah. So is it going to be, are they going to age him up? Right. You know what I mean? Is it is it going to be, yes, it's Brandon Routh, but he also looks like, in Clark's terms, you yeah. know, like 108 yeah. years old, you know. And then Burt Ward. <laughs> I know. And hearing that just made me miss Adam West so much more. Because just the idea that over here you have badass Oliver Queen, and here comes Adam West and Burt Ward. Hey there, chum. Like, what the hell is this? <laughs> you know? And that would have been great, too, to see, to see Adam West smack Oliver Queen. And boom, actually comes across the street. And they're all like, how the hell did that happen? You know, and then there was even talk that the uh, Titan, a um, couple of the characters from the mm -hmm. uh, DCU universe is um, going to come over too. So, I yeah, mean, this is really a pure crisis throughout the multiverse. <laughs> yeah, it'll be it'll be just universe spanning. They, they are actually going to touch. Just, you know, it's like. Hell, what's what's Zach Levi doing? <laughs> He'd do a walk on at Shazam, you know he would, you know, or something like that. Yeah, Smallville, you know, <sighs> that tie in. <laughs> oh man, to find out everything was orchestrated by by Smallville's Lex Luthor, that would just be. Well, Lex Luthor is back, you know. Yeah. The Supergirl one, mm -hmm. you know. So you know, he didn't. He died, but. The monitor brought him back, so... Yeah, is Lex Luthor ever really dead? True. Um, we've got The Flash coming back. Oh, yeah. The, that storyline for this season looks pretty dark. Yeah. Well... It comes into crisis. <laughs> they got to they gotta vacuum the fill with, you know, Arrow going, you know. You're right. Uh, Supergirl's looking outstanding. They're, oh, the announcement of the her new suit. Right, yeah. Oh. The remodeling, you know. Yeah. Uh, talk to that uh, Edgar Wynn from the first couple seasons will be returning. Right. Um, that uh, the actor that plays uh, Jimmy Olsen, uh, he made the announcement that he will be leaving the series. Right. They did announce that it, it they're leaving it as an open door leaving. Right. So, you know, he may, much like they did with Wynn. And they he, announced that Miss Tessmacher, the actress, is full cast now. Yep. So... You know, you lose some, you gain some. You yeah. Know? And, you know, Lex Luthor's sister, 
yeah turn into the dark side yeah <laughs> so, let's face it we all oh yeah we all plotted a little bit when we heard lex properly say yes that's my guy yeah i know oh, i really hope we see more crier as lex luther in the future they're saying that he wants to do it so. and then we've got what's kind of become my favorite show in in the cw universe the, the legends of tomorrow oh yeah man i'm telling you I can't wait to see how the legends react in this crisis because they are so fourth wall breaking, oh. <laughs> tongue in cheek, not taking anything serious. You know, I'm waiting for that moment when Ray meets Superman. You oh. know what I mean? <laughs> and it's, I, I'm hoping for that one remark from Ray where, like, he's like, man. I really do look like. Hopefully, he, he says it to Kara. It's like, man, I really do look like your cousin. <laughs> Maybe they'll pick up the Dick Graysons, you know. Oh, <laughs> Maybe they're going good through universes. <laughs> yeah. So a lot of things have come out from San Diego uh, regarding the CW. Um, more news coming in from the the DC app. Oh yeah, the DC Universe um, season two, the Doom Patrol. Yep. And. <sighs> Titans, the second mm -hmm. season is already in, in progress. The only thing was the uh, Swamp Thing didn't make it. You know, who knows? Which I don't understand why. I mean, if they'd have gone into it saying that it was like a mini series that it will just be eight episodes, that's one thing. Yeah. Swamp Thing is amazing. It's, I just think there's something going on behind the scenes on that one. That it could just not say. Yeah, because for it to have gotten canceled before the ratings, you know. Right. It, it had to have been a bookkeeping or a logistical I, error. I think they're all nervous about what's going to happen to the DC Universe because Warner Brothers has announced that they're doing their own app, oh. the, the HBO mm. Max. So, mm. I mean, a lot of these are going to start popping into HBO territory now, too. Right. So, you know, it's it's are they going to merge it all together, you know? And what's going to happen to our... Well, the after the first year, maybe we won't be able to re-up. Maybe we have to get HBO Max. This is who, true. Who knows? This might have been one of those testing the waters type things, or it might be one of those, we have a solid platform. No, you don't. We're going to take it. Yeah. So, that's we don't what, know. That's what I think. It was just because I think this was before the AT&T buyout. This true. was already in the works, and then the AT&T buyout happened. New heads come in, things change. Once again, it's the fans who pay the price. Yeah, I know. So, oh, and a quick little comic note too. I forgot Legion of Superheroes returns. That's right. You know, before we started the show, we was thinking what we was going to do about the uh, comic book world. Uh, Legion. I mean, what else do I want? Yeah. You know, uh, two part um, miniseries, then into the series, and it has to do with Superman's son. Don't even get me started on, <laughs> on Jonathan. I love. I love that book so much. I, uh, the Super Sons is still one of my favorite books. I was still a little cheesed what they did to Jonathan in, in the action comic books. You but know. it makes sense now. But it makes yeah. sense now. You know, it was I. I just I love that adorable little hick boy super. You know, you they know. could go back and tell stories. That's this is true. Well, that's a, a lot of what uh, the adventures of uh, the Super yeah, Sons yeah. did was because in the established books, you know it. Uh, um, Jonathan had already been, you know, off planet with, you know, uh, Grandpa. Jorette, with Grandpa, <laughs> you know, and his age, you know. So now he he left a ten year old, and now he's come back a teenager, yeah. uh, which has been some great interaction between him and Kara. I love the two the two of them together. I I could see that book. The two of them playing yeah. off of each other is great. But uh, the Adventures of the Super Sons was one of my favorite books. It was uh, Damien and Jonathan, and just seeing the relationship that, of the two of them. It's oh, like yeah. I need more of that. So um, that's everything that we can think of. Because <laughs> so much that came out uh, from San Diego in regards to uh, the CW. If there's anything we missed or any comments that you would like to add, please let us know. Richard, where can they do that? Um, go to undergroundvideonetwork.com. You can find all our socials there.